Hey guys, what is up? And today we're going to be having a look at Beam since they recently had a hard fork uh, about a week ago, give or take. Well, two weeks ago. And currently Beam is sitting on 39 cents. It's obviously dropped like everything else. It was uh, 89 at one point, getting close to a dollar, getting close. But, you know, it had its issues. It was at one point at almost three dollars, which is kind of worrying. Everything happens, yeah. But I come and look at what has happened with Beam, what's changed in it, where it's going to, because on their timeline, we've, we've at the, oh, the roadmap, we're at the end of it. Like, there's nothing more on the roadmap, so they need to update it more, because, yeah, they've hit, they've hit the end. But the whole hard fork came around on the 13th of June. Uh, the market cap is 35 million, which is not massive, but, you know, this is... The 6.0 version of Beam, which is pretty cool that we got to that point already. And this is going to be adding in smart contracts for allowing them to go towards the DeFi side of things and uh, dApps, which is pretty cool to be able to involve them and get more on that side of things since Beam has kind of been a bit behind in terms of those. But out of nowhere, they've suddenly gone, have all this in like multiple hard forks. Uh, shaders will take place, which is the contracts. Uh, Confident. Confidential assets arrive in the desktop wallet, so be able to send and receive with better privacy, uh, see the balance instead of info, and 180 tasks and bug fixes. That is a lot of things going on. Uh, they've also embedded a virtual machine so you can run the shaders, uh, run apps for dApps, enable dApps approve, uh, and receive confidential assets. So they've done quite a lot, they've added a lot of stuff. And then the next big event is going to be Bitcoin in 200 days. But what I found funny was Binance was like, we will support the network upgrade and hard fork. And it's like, well, I kind of hope so. Otherwise, you then have a coin which you can't use on your system. So it'd be stupid that they have to specify they're going to accept a hard fork. It's like, it's going to happen regardless. Either, either you go with it or you take a coin off of your system. And this coin being what? Number 452? not the lowest coin in the world so you probably should accept it and people do use it but back in 2019 they had a few things they're setting up like the android wallet and cold wallet and being able to desktop swaps between different coins and now we're all the way down to here so virtual machines they're doing the dApps they're doing uh and but these four here are the ones we are waiting on them to actually fully release but other than that, yeah, this stuff's already happened and there's nothing more on the timeline. Which is pretty cool that we got to this point. On the latest, latest roadmap, which they posted on to Medium, they've obviously talked about what they've been doing, where they've got to. So February 2021, we got to this stuff here. And we're kind of in this stage anyway. And there's nothing really more since then. They're kind of just explaining what they're doing, how they're doing it. So I'll link it below so you have a good read if you really want to. Kind of see what they're doing, like doing support for uh, wallets and better swaps and improvements of the Explorer, better you, you, you wallet UI. I've never used the Beam wallet. I just use things like Binance or uh, other kind of exchanges. I just keep my money in exchanges mostly, which probably isn't the best idea, but I'm not really a fan of having a million desktop wallets all over the place. So... I kind of need to maybe use one. But this Twitter, you know, posting about basic kind of things, just talking about what they're doing, their roadmap, uh, talking about how they're doing their cross, cross chain and confidentiality stuff, you know, pretty cool stuff. But I want to see what's actually changed on the website as well. So obviously, you can buy, you can mine, you can spend it. Uh, speaking of mining, Beam has now become, for my GPU anyway, which is a uh, 5700 XT currently, um, it is now the second most profitable coin on uh, through Nicehash. So it was Ethereum, Ravencoin, and something else, and then it became Beam 3, uh, Beam 3 became the second most profitable one to use. So actually being able to mine beam now would be pretty cool unfortunately it goes into uh into bloody 
Bitcoin, if I can remember the word, but it's mixed between that and Kapow, and we're kind of just, you know, seeing where it goes. It might even become the number one once Ethereum disappears. We'll have to wait and see for that one. But obviously, when it comes to mining it, you know, they have a, they have a pretty good mining guide, which they've always had. They update it every so often. So you can, they talk about the minimum memory requirement, which is 4 gig as it's updated. Now, having a 4 gig means you can buy 4 gig cards. You can buy like a 50, uh, 570 or a 470 or a 450. Like you can buy GPUs that cost like $50 and you can mine Beam with it, which is awesome. Uh, mine difficulties, playing like that, the reward, treasury, there's completely ASIC resistance. Uh, for the first hot 18 months, you know, they, they really are committing to miners and do what they do so You know Set it all up Talking about how you mine it and I think you can I don't know if you can mine Through the wallet or if you mine other ways, but you can also just mine through uh, Just any sort of miner you like like MB miner or the one that's recommended to use by um Nice hash for uh, AMD cards is Lol Miner, so maybe either use Lol Miner because that's a pretty good one. But yeah, you can go on here. You can look up how to mine, which is nice to know. Since if you don't know, if you want to mine a certain coin, you have a way of doing it. As, as I say, Lol Miner, GM Miner, OpenCL. You got the options here. Wallet and Node. Download that. Download that. You've got good pools to choose from, so. Go on to hash rate, and then you've got leaf pool, which apparently needs the most. So that's probably the, the best one to join in terms of things, but I don't really know. F2 pool, always really, really good, and two miners, also really, really good ones. I've both used before, and I've always trusted them. You can spend beam. You can spend beam on quite a lot of things. So, like, literally choose anything that you want in this category out of anything, and you can buy stuff. Let's go with. I don't know. What seems like could be a relatable thing. How about clothing? You know, buy some clothes. Oh wait, the site doesn't work anymore. Beam needs to update your services. Okay, let's go with accounting. Some Russian accounting site. There we go. Spend your beam on some Russian accounting. I'm, I'm really guessing that's Russian. It could be very, very wrong. Uh, how about... You know... There we go. Here's the site that works. Buy yourself some space on a server in the USA. Get a Xeon, 8 gig of RAM, terabyte, 2000 get $80 a month. Boom, there you go. You can buy a server with your beam. That's what you can do with it. Uh, or you can just buy the beam. You know, just, just buy it on uh, quite a lot of exchanges. It's a very uh, well built out kind of site. And just a Obviously, Binance is the first one, but that's just because it's Binance. Uh, so they have the DeFi, obviously the wallets and the normal one. You can join the club, the miners. Like this, you can learn about them, the test net stuff. If I join the miners, go to join the miners area. Yeah, it brings to the mining guide, and then you can learn about everything to do with Beam. Pretty much, like everything you could possibly think of about Beam, you could somehow find information about it. So they have their BMX platform, which, you know, is going to be DeFi. It's pretty straightforward on what it is. But you can download the Beam wallet. You can do the, the governments, governance as it is. So sovereign, decentralized, and private solutions to the crypto space, like a lot of currencies are doing. Coming soon, so being able to do proposals to submit voting. Uh, so you'll be able to actually vote on new proposals, new things to go ahead, which for a lot of coins has brought them a lot of good ideas and expanded them quite a lot. And you can see the futures of what they're doing with DeFi and how they're going to go with it. You've got the shaders, which is the new part of it, which is there still obviously not fully releasing. I don't think it's fully released yet, or like it's being released as we speak. It was on the newest point, but it allows them to be able to. 3D graphics, like a beam virtual machine implement the custom co contract logic. And contracts are pretty cool. I don't know how Beam's going to be really doing them, but 
this whole side of beam is a very very complex kind of side and it's gonna evolve it's plenty its own kind of like 20 half, half minute half an hour video just to explain all the little parts of it which involved me doing a lot of research making a lot of notes so that's not something to go into right now and we have atom swaps which is probably the last thing to look at really if it would have been open okay it doesn't just it doesn't even work uh and telegram so with that obviously not working that's kind of stupid and not working but beam it's hard forked it's brought a load of new features it's going up in the list of coins to mine in terms of value so maybe this will become the coin that takes over from uh, ethereum if they keep pushing and if that's so i'm gonna have to buy myself some four gig cards because i've got the space right now for a new gpu mining rig so i might buy a, a 12 new gpu rig and uh, get a crap load of four gig cards are really really cheap and make get mining again but for now I'll link all this below so you can have a good, more detailed read of yourself. I'll leave the mining guide down below if you want to mine Beam directly instead of going through like a separate service. And we're kind of just waiting for more upgrades to these guys and to see if in one month, when the new part of Ethereum comes in, does Beam overtake it in my profitability because of them going to privacy stake. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you next time.